No. I'm going to feel a certain type of way. That's going to throw me the fuck off. Like, that's not in my algorithm. That's not in my, 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 my mental algorithm of the way that I live my life. All this energy, you're going to eventually exhaust the person that you're with. And you were disappointed. Our women are the same. Our women are the same. They all have the same emotion. You know it's going to be emotion. But a lot of men don't. A lot of men don't want don't want another man around. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you gonna be like, God damn, bitch, what the what? I just did all this shit, and you just what the fuck? Where did shit come from? Like the single retention for the last, I don't know how many years. I don't release no semen. And people tell me like your skin. Well, you don't. I don't release. My, I ain't to please my partner. After the woman come a million times, I'm done. Really? Yes, ma'am. But this is my life force. So if we set the intention to have a child, then yeah. But most people don't know is when you release your semen, your bone marrow, your hair start thinning, you 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 age. This is our life force. That's this one of the what, best feelings ever, though. This will make what. With an orgasm, mm-hmm. you can do it in where it stay inside your body. Once you train yourself, it, it stay in your body. So how do you train yourself for that? Discipline. It heal your central nervous system. Mm-hmm. It heal your brain. You don't have brain fog. And I tell a lot of men, stop watching porn. Because when you watch porn, it'll make you masturbate in the morning. Like say, you just masturbate or you masturbate just what you did. You just jacked off and shot your precious semen, your nut just netted all on the clock. <laughs> you know, yeah, what you did. But I tell them, when you look at a woman, you're going to look at her objectively and you're giving off creep energy. And women could pick that up. So that's how your skin's so clear? Well, I drink a lot of water. I drink like a gallon of water a day. Mm-hmm. Anything that we put in our body to come through in our face. If I go eat McDonald's french fries right now, my face will break off. But, uh, um, alchemical uh, sexual alchemy? Sexual alchemy. Yeah. I know alchemy. I'm talking about Tantra. I made a Sexual lot of money alchemy. on alchemy in the Did you know that the, <laughs> the story of Jesus, how it's been altered in certain ways? I mean, yes, there was a guy. Yes, there was teachings, all that stuff. But is uh, there's 33 vertebrates in your spine. There's 33 years in the life of Jesus. Jesus Christ, yeah. Substance that comes from your medulla, which is basically completely looks like the uh, Ark of the Covenant has has uh, angels wings around it the whole thing. this substance comes from your medulla makes the tr- trip down your spine to your sacrum which is the which is quick get a dictionary christ coming down into human form yeah. and if you don't squander that essence that sexual essence it ascends again and goes back up to heaven listen there's this whole wave of motherfuckers talking about not busting nuts mm-hmm. semen retention Semen retention. Mm-hmm. Kevin Gates talk about it. Joey Badass talk about it. I heard you talk about it. Mm-hmm. Please elaborate. No, it's, it's good for you. Um, first and foremost, your ejaculation, your nut is is life. So once you give a part of life away, you lose a part of life. You know, um, I tell everybody this example: with one nut, you can run eight miles. It's like the equivalent to eight miles. You know how many miles? You know how many footsteps that is? One really? Nut. Wow. If one neck can make a whole child, you think you can't, you can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't go the extra mile to do your work or do extra stuff within that. You know what I'm saying? So it's better to keep it in and you'll feel better. Like just go on the same retention. Like, you know. How long? Oh, just try like, how, how often do you have sex? I mean, often. I'm married. My wife's beautiful. We be fucking, you know what I'm saying? So like. <laughs> just, just try. More. I feel like my. Okay. So is it hard to like not get um, your shit off? You got to have a goal. If you put a goal in place, if you be like, okay, this week I want to record seven songs. Uh huh. And that's like a song a day, you know. If that's your goal, attack it. You know what I'm saying? But with you having sex and busting a hundred nuts, it might not be possible because let me make it more realistic. I'm going to speak on my terms. Like, I try to record three songs a night if I'm, if I'm in for a week. If I got a week recording session, I'm trying to do three songs. That's... 21 songs in one week that's a that's an album. album two albums so 
You know what I'm saying? If that's my focus, if that's my approach going into that week, I can't have sex because mm. I'm gonna be too tired. I want it's, it's it's certain hours that's gonna be knocked off, which is each nut, each nut, a certain hour will be knocked off. So um, once you develop a goal or a focus, something to drive towards, I feel like that's when you implement. So it. when you are doing retention, semen retention, and then you still fuck, right? Mm. I'm just trying to understand this. I haven't done it to where I'm fucking and then like. So you'll I just be celibate. Neck. Yeah, I just be said. Oh, okay. Like thinking, like truly stupendous amount of thinking has gone into sex okay. without purpose, without procreation, without procreation. Which, yeah. which, which is actually quite a silly action in the absence of procreation. It's, it's a bit silly. Well, so why are you doing it? Because it makes the limbic system happy. That's why. That's why. But it's pretty absurd, really. <laughs> well, the whole of existence is pretty absurd in some kind of sense. Yeah. But, but, but I mean, this is a lot of computation has gone into how can I do more of that with <laughs> procreation not even being a factor? This is, I think, a very important area of research by NSFW. <laughs> uh, an agency that should receive a lot of funding, especially after this conversation. <laughs> I propose the formation of a new agency. Boxers aren't supposed to. It, but it's like it's like scientific it's like scientific like if i fuck the night before i spar i'll go in there and look like a rag doll like my coach has literally told me before you had sex you last night nut. didn't you, you? no no he could tell i don't t talk to him he wow. sees my performance after one round i come back to the corner he goes you had sex last night didn't you and i go yeah a it's lot. that That's big of a difference that a lot of fighters are affected by it including myself and you're sure this isn't just all mental i'm sure 110 percent i'm not I, I don't believe in placebo i have to experience things for myself and you notice that it has a positive impact yeah it's night and day i've only messed up like on occasion once or twice because it's noticeably different and i take more punishment in sparring if i do that. i actually am a huge advocate on telling people to cut porn out like oh really i have to quit porn yeah It'll i still i still watch porn bro but like It'll fuck you up dude trying to get better, if you are trying to do things in a good, good way, you have to remove the temptations. Me, I had a problem with pornography years ago. And now, it's one of those things that I had to eliminate temptations. I had to eliminate things that I felt would, would trigger me and get me back going on the wrong path. And it's really, really subtle. One of the things is by examining what the way you think and how you act, in a given situation, um, I find that there were times like Friday night is when I felt like that was the time to view pornography. You know why? Because I remember everyone going out on Friday and it feeling real sexy and feeling like woo and women and this and dancing and partying and all that. And if I would, I would do it, I'd say, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm a good boy, but I'm gonna stay home and I'm gonna watch porn, which was a horrible, horrible habit. So Friday night, I know when those feelings are coming and when that I get sensitive and I feel like, hmm, you know, this might be the time to click on something. You know what I mean? And I know it and I head it off at the path. You just make sure that you know where you are and you avoid those temptations. The same thing with eating. That woman game went. day, you never want to bust no nut on the week of game day. On I the week? Uh, especially game day the, the night week? before. Yo. <laughs> Come on, <bro. laughs> The whole week. Yeah, that's why I got more energy than players like you. <laughs> you I never tired. caught you because I'm skeeting. <laughs> the uh, night before, hey, yes. hold on, hold on. You guys are football players. Give me your funniest night before the game you had sex. What happened in this game? Tell ain't me. Because I know you had the worst down. game ever. Tell me. It ain't going down. You I started learning about that through well, what really got me in the semen retention at first was I used to box. And we couldn't releasing the semen, you know, before fights and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, man, I be so deadly when I'm not releasing no semen, making that sacrifice. 
So I put myself in that mindset again, but I started studying all the benefits from it, and I started looking at the benefits I'm having. Mm. When your masculine energy becomes sacred masculinity, like, I don't release semen. I really been celibate. I really don't even, I've been playing hide the dick. We saw you talking about that. I really, I really, I really practice semen retention now. And I, I love the way it make me feel. I love the power and the energy that it give me. So in and in, in just practicing this, my masculinity is sacred because I'm not looking for this one and that one and this one and that one to, to, to fuck. But if you're not releasing semen, aren't you jammed up? And no, won't you that's like... not true. That's my life force. It's going to go, it's going to recycle itself through my body. Now, I've had weird dreams before. If I have a weird dream, you know, that's my body releasing and recycling. But, but not on purpose. No, like in the morning time, every man, you wake up and you want to beat that dick. I don't do that. I wake up and put that energy into making a good song, a great workout. I start replacing them habits with something else. Mm. Some serpent fire, is that what they call it? I call it sex transmutation. I just take, okay. it's all energy. It's just right. on what you do with it. Right. I can see in that bitch, I don't watch porn. I can see in that bitch and hunt around drum something. But I did that when I was a kid. I want to do something different now. Yeah. So I do yoga. I stretch. Terms I call it sex transmutation. I just take okay. it's all energy. It's just right. on what you do with it.